sculptured hard gel extensions on forms and square oval shape in this video coming up. Hello guys, Anastasia here. In this video I will be trying hard gels by Cosma Profi. This is Russian brand and they finally launched their international website. So now it is all in English and also they ship worldwide. So now let's take a look at the colors that they have. First one is milky. So this is a milky white color, medium consistency. I think it will be great for baby boomers. Then we have pink. This is a semi-transparent pink color. And they also have another one, which is dark pink. And this one is more intense, but still half translucent. They also have two shades of intense cover colors, light. This one is light beige nude color. And another one is cover, which one is more pink and more intense. I'm also going to use Bonder, which is non-acid primer as well as matte top coat. We decided to use light color since my model, her skin is pretty light, so I think this one will fit her perfectly. So we just took off the old product, so now her nails are clean and now let's fit the form and start with the application. First I will apply dehydrator and then non-acid primer. Do not apply too much. Next step will be base coat. A thin layer cure in LED for 30 seconds. And now I will take gel and start with the free edge. Today we will be doing a shape which is called square oval. This is something in between of square and oval. And when you look from the top, it looks like it's oval. But when you look from the side, you will see that the side walls are exactly like in square shape. So this is something like in combo. Well, most clients actually call it soft square. So I think it will work like that as well. So with the first coat, I always create the length and the shape of the nail. And also your goal is to create a tip. So basically we're sculpting a tip right now with our own hands. So make sure that the width you are creating is the same as the width of the natural nail, because if some parts will be missing, then you will inevitably have cracks on the sides. And by the way, the forms I'm using in this video are by Tones. I really enjoyed working with them and I will be definitely using them more for sure. So this layer is pretty thin. With a clean brush, you can clean the free edge. And now frisk cure it in LED for five seconds. Yeah, that's enough. Now I will set up the plastic clip, pinch and cure for remaining one minute. Now we can take off the form. This is optional, you can leave the form on if you wish, but I prefer taking it off because it's easier to pinch afterwards. And now, with one step, I'm going to create the structure of the nail. And first I applied a thin layer of the gel again and did not cure it. Now I'm taking more and starting from the cuticle, I do the application. So this consistency is called medium. In this brand, they have a huge variety of gels. They have thicker consistency. They have like super thick, but I personally prefer this one medium because it kind of helps you to do the perfect application, but you need to work fast because if you will apply the product very slowly, if your client will be looking at her nails for a long time, then it might flood the sidewalls and we never want that. When you're done with the application, this time we're going to cure it longer for 10 seconds. Well, not really cure, this is like freeze cure. And then I'm going to use a plastic clip again, pinch the nails and cure it for the whole one minute. Now let's take off the sticky layer. And here's an important tip. So when you're working with the gel, you probably have bubbles in your jar that looks like this. So what you want to do is to pick up the product, not from the side where you have bubbles, but from the opposite side where you do not have them. Because if you will pick some product with bubbles inside, they will definitely get into the nail. And once they cure, there will be like an air hole in the middle and you know, these nails may break if the bubbles will be big enough. So try to avoid that, but with this consistency of gel, it's pretty easy to get rid of the bubbles. You simply need to leave this jar open for like a few minutes and then they will be gone. Also avoid stirring gel too much because this may be another reason for bubbles to appear. 
Now I'm going to do a very slight shaping with the buffer. I'm going to file the surface with buffer and shape the nails with a regular 180 file. And trim the cuticles with the scissors. So these are nails that we have after product application and filing. I actually missed doing this shape. It's been a while since I did that. So first of all, I really like how this gel pinches. It's pretty easy and it holds its curve, which is not very typical for some hard gels. So now let's do the color and the design. Well, actually I applied the matte top coat, cured it for one minute. Then I applied another coat and I'm going to do some rhinestones on top. So we picked a few colors of Swarovski rhinestones. The first one was green, this one is light green, and we're going to use a different color on each nail. So this one is like moonstone, then we had light pink and light blue. And this is what we have. I think this design is so cute and with this lightning, these rhinestones look kind of the same. Well, my favorite will be definitely the thumb. Let me guys know which one is your favorite. As for the product review, I'm definitely happy with the consistency, with the color intensity and just with the way these gels work, so I'm definitely going to use them. So just take a look, this is the nail that we had after application, then I pinch it and cure in LED for one minute, and this is what we have after curing. Wow, this nail looks so narrow and so elegant now and the C-curves are so good. So if this is something you've been struggling with, it's pretty easy to achieve it with this gel. So this is how this shape looks from the side view. I really like this look as well. So let me guys know what do you think. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will leave all the links down below and thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!